Croquet is a sport which originated in Europe in the 18th century, and generally it's been a relaxing pastime of the older generation. Well, that was until 15-year-old Laura Whitaker came along and knocked all the stereotypes for six. at a friend's house up in Mochawaka and I thought it was heaps of fun so I thought I would go down to the club in Christchurch and I joined straight away. Since joining the Edgeware Croquet Club three years ago, Laura's rise up the local and national croquet ranks have been meteoric and also influential on her family. Yeah, Dad started playing a season after I did just because I always went on about it at home. And as a Year 11 student at Avonside Girls, Laura probably doesn't get many opportunities to discuss the finer details of her sport, like double banking, balking and bisque with her school friends. But not that that would deter Laura. There's mixed reactions. Um, most of them think it's pretty cool. Um, I had a friend start up lawn bowls after she heard, and yeah, I'm trying to get a few of them to start up too. And it's not just amongst her school friends that Laura has stood apart. Her talented, uniquely decorated mallet definitely set her apart from the usual croquet set. I decorate my mallet with stickers and at the moment it is covered in photos. But yeah, it's not a very traditional thing to do. In shock, horror, Laura's even brought her iPod along to matches to help her zone out and focus, something that stirred up much talk amongst the traditional croquet folk. We've had a few complaints about that, but it's because it's a new thing that's just starting to happen, but everyone's pretty good with it. And although her mallet may be rainbow coloured and her mind far away off listening to her favourite song, when Laura steps onto the croquet lawn, she means business. And this year she won the prestigious Arthur Ross Memorial. It's New Zealand's handicap competition, so it's association croquet and we you go up there for three days and play three days of games against other people it used to be a straight knockout but they've changed it so that you have chances even if you lose games but Laura didn't need any second chances winning eight games straight and becoming the first ever female and youngest ever winner of the huge trophy in 80 years and Laura has an unconventional way for how she'd like to see her name displayed on the silverware I would like it to be underlined and bold and in italics with an exclamation mark at the end, but I don't know if that will be acceptable. And although New Zealand croquet may not allow for any fancy engraving, they have selected Laura to wear the silver fern later this year. Yeah, we're going to Australia in November for the Women's Golf Croquet Worlds. A selection which topped off a dream season for Laura. Um, I didn't expect it, seeing as I had only been playing golf croquet for a very little time, but it's fantastic. And between now and November, Laura's croquet is only set to improve under the watchful eye of two of the world's top croquet players, who Laura considers her mentors. Jenny and Chris Clark, they've been amazing coaches and they've taught me a lot of things. Um, there's other people just around and about who do really interesting things, which I would like to put into my own game. And there's no doubt Laura will continue to play the game her own way. After all, she's had plenty of success doing it this far.